Blessed uh, Thursday, everyone. Welcome to our devotions. And today we'll be looking at um, Matthew 11, verse 30. And I like this because it seems like it's sort of like a balance uh, for, for this week as we have been looking at uh, very straightforward, very hard passages. And now we are looking at Matthew 11, verse 30, and it reads, let's read from verse 28. Come to me, all who you are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light, says the Lord. And today, um, ang title ng devotion natin is The Burden Bearer. Jesus described himself as a gentle and, lo and lowly in heart. As gentle and lowly in heart. Therefore, he gives rest, not weariness, to all those who submit to, his, to him and do his work. In Christ, you have not only a Savior, but also a burden bearer. He helps you carry all your burdens, including the burden of obedience. I, I like that. Now, um, before we start blaming Jesus Christ that he is a slave driver, I thought you have set me free, but now why am I a slave to Christ? Why am I now then uh, commanded to, to take up my cross and follow him daily? Because uh, that, that is who we are. That is what we do. As new creatures, we now we no longer own ourselves. Diba? Did you not know that you are no longer uh, your own? Someone bought you with a price. And, and Jesus is now our master. Yes, he has set us free from slavery and he has made us bond servants of his grace and righteousness. And that for me is true and genuine liberty. Yeah. Natin. Would you rather be sort of free sa paningin ng tao, paningin, paningin ng mundo, living in sin? Or would you like to have freedom, have, have liberty in, in its truest sense and be uh, subject and be uh, submitted and, and, and as slaves to Jesus Christ as your master. I'd rather choose being his slave than to be a slave of sin. Diba? And so, and as we go on with our Christian life, and Christian life is hard, hard work. It, it's, we love it because we love God and we do hard things for Him, but at times we uh, get tired and this is where this comes in that he is the burden bearer he saved us from eternal damnation and he also uh, commanded us to take his yoke because he is our burden bearer even the burden if at times you find it a burden uh, to obey him pero sabi di ba ng talata rin uh, his uh, Commandments are not burdensome because we delight in it. But there are times that we would be burdened. So this is, this balances it off. Diba? Ang galing. That Jesus, He helps us carry all our burdens, including the burden of obedience. Jesus will never give you a burden too heavy to carry. His yoke has nothing to do with the demands of the law or human works. Instead, it pertains to the Christian's obedience to Him. Hindi ito to, to keep the law for it to be saved. No, it is because we love Him and that, that's why we need to obey Him. We love to obey Him. Which He wants to make a joyful and happy experience. Thank God for providing such a gracious burden bearer in the person of His Son. And then think about it, friends. He's the one who saved you from eternal damnation. His righteousness became your righteousness. His, your sins uh, uh, was reckoned as His. He changed you so beautifully from within. And then um, we look back at Scripture. We know that we follow Him because we love Him. But there are times that we find it hard. Then we look at Him as the burden bearer. Galing, di ba? And I truly praise the Lord for that grace. Uh, that balances it off. And so, uh, as a challenge, as a encouragement for us, um, we do hard things for Christ because we love Him. And if you find yourself 
maybe because of our frailties, maybe because of the struggle and the pressure of the world, we find it hard to obey Him. I pray that you would see and understand that He is the one who is the burden bearer. He can help you carry your load, right? And sabing ganon, my yoke is and my burden is light, ba? My yoke is easy and my burden is light. And what a savior indeed we have. Pray tayo. Let's let's just glory in this. Thank you, Lord, for how this balances it off. Yes, you have commanded us, Lord, to to obey you and uh, to live for you because that is what is right. Because we are no longer our own. We are bought with a price, a precious, precious price, the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. His death in exchange for our death, his life in exchange for our life. And so, Lord, we thank you for this beautiful um, substitution. And Lord, though, uh, we know that we ought to be loving you and obeying you because that is who we are. We uh, this is, our now, this is now our new disposition. There are times that we find ourselves um, grumbling. We find ourselves complaining. We find ourselves ha uh, having difficulty in obeying you. And then you say, come to me, all who are weary, and take my yoke. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. Thank you, Lord. Thank you very much. And even the burden of obe obeying you is uh, a burden that you want us to cast upon you and ask help from you and that is just staggering what a beautiful wonderful savior you are indeed oh god and so lord today we pray that we would be found as those who gladly and joyfully obey you because we love you may we be found lord in times wherein it's difficult for us to obey you that we would be just asking you for help to help us out help us obey you Salamat po na marami sa katotohanan ito. We pray that you'd be with us the rest of the day. And we praise you again, Lord, for this beautiful reminder that you are our burden bearer. We glory in that, Lord. We boast in that and we thank you for that. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. And amen. Thanks for joining me. Ang sarap painggan, ano? Na pag nahihirapan tayo, andyan pa rin ang Panginoon Diyos para tulungan tayo. And that is just very beautiful. Sige po, ingat kayong lahat sa araw na ito, and I'm praying that you would have a beautiful day proclaiming Jesus, shouting out His fame, uh, declaring His Excellency sa man kayo nandoon. Ingat po kayo, God bless.